Hello everyone and welcome back to Yama and Andy's channel and Andy is nowhere to be seen to be fair because he's at work boring I know I'm down by a river that I fished once before yesterday I had like an hour a bit of explore it's on the river Dove literally five minutes from where we live so I'm quite lucky to have that piece of water here but I've never fished here before because our club just recently got it and I'm mega excited to explore some more today it looks really beautiful the only reason why you see me and it looks a little bit darker outside is because I set myself to, to fail this morning and when I got to the river I thought well I'm not gonna catch anything so there's no point in filming an intro because you're not gonna catch anything so just get on try and catch a fish and then go home and be miserable about how you can't fish or catch a fish and then turns out I had a really good day so here's an intro hello to everyone I hope you guys are doing well so stay tuned there's going to be plenty of trout and grayling to come right let's tangle up just like so god i hate fishing three flies okay it's such a lovely water here That was a little nibble. That was just a little nibble. Okay, I will walk to the end of this pool and walk my way upstream like I should have done. There's a brownie right below my feet, sitting on the bottom. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just not fighting him in a very good position at the moment. I have a feeling I have a really good chance of losing it, so I need to hurry up and net it. Oh, yeah. Come here to the shallow water. Come here. Oh good, oh good. Yes, and it's in the net. Okay, so I will try and show it to you. Very, very lively. Tigery looking thing. But we're gonna put him back. Go on, buddy. That wasn't too long to prepare. Only took me a couple of minutes and I'm into the fish. It ate a caddis as well. That was cool, which made me wonder if I should just fish quite close first, fish it well, and then once I've done that, then start to venture outside because that, that trout was right by my feet. Candle on my shrimp. Tangle on my shrimp, not the candle. Okay, let's try again. I just started to be fair. Yeah, only had one uh, brownie. Yeah, you had one already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a fish. Straight away. A little grayling. Well, I say little. And okay, Grayling. What fly did you take? I think it was on that caddis. Come on, buddy. Come on. 
Nice little wriggler. Back he goes. Okay. Of course it's a snag. Somehow I managed to break the whole rig. I broke the actual indicator. I broke off some of the French leader. I broke off all of my three flies, two tippet rings, everything. The unfortunate thing is, is that at the moment that because the river is quite high, it has risen up with all the rain we had. I can't go in and get it. Well, if I if I could, I would have done it when, as soon as I snagged it. But I am an absolute idiot because I already snagged up there once and lost a fly and I didn't learn. And now I snagged off the whole Decking thing so that's me and then there was just a uh, canoe's boat that swam past me so that's not ideal either because they'll kind of ruin most of the pools that are downstream where I'm about to go thankfully for me I haven't taken a rod out of the car where I was fishing yesterday so I still have my indicator rod with two flies on there so I'm gonna go back to the car get the rod and find some more fish because at the moment it's not going very well I've just been to the car got the indicator rod out and as soon as I picked up the indicator rod and I realized that my red tag is on there that I was using yesterday I'm like oh great that's the heavy fly it just came to my memory that one of the flies that was on that rig that I've just lost was the first fly that I have ever tied <sighs> I carried that fly for four years I had it I was saving it I was very careful and now it's at the bottom of the dove hello darkness my old friend don't tell Andy. He told me not even to put that fly in the fly box. He told me. I didn't listen and now I lost it. Right. Right, so I had to walk quite a long way from the car and I walked all the way downstream. I'm gonna try and get a few rising fish. I've seen two rises the whole time I was here. I was here for about 10 minutes. So two rises isn't great really, but still gives hope. And again, that was a rise. And again, that fish is munching. Why is it every single time I pick the dry fly out, it starts to rain? Like a bloody fool. Oh, that wasn't mine. Panic. That was mine. That was mine. Yes, man. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I think we might be onto a trout here. Maybe not. Maybe it's a grayling. Yeah. Nice dry fly grayling. Go on in. Yes. Yes. Unusual place for them where he was. Very unusual. And that kind of still water. Right, I'm hoping that I can catch another fish before this rain sets in because I can't film when it's raining. It's not bad at the moment, but if it gets any worse. I will have to get out and hide the camera kit. 12 seconds later. So at the moment I'm just kind of cradling my GoPros in the pack and under my wading jacket hoping this rain will stop. It kind of stopped now which is annoying because I've literally started the rain quite heavily. I was like right no <laughs> I need to make sure everything's safe and dry. I will give it five minutes and in that time I will try and look for any fishes that are rising. So, a thousand hours later, it seems like the rain has stopped, which is nice. And the fish are rising. Not many, and they're not very consistent, but there are a few rising fish. Oh yeah, that might go past him. That might. 
might cover him, that might cover him, that might cover him. Oh, I'm not sure if it was mine or not, to be honest. I might have upset him. Refusal. A fish just came up and looked at it. I think it was a grayling. Didn't like it. It was either dragging or yeah, it didn't like something. It came up quite far in the water column. Whew, exciting. Yes, 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 yes. That's not a that's not a grayling. That's not a grayling. That's not a grayling. That's a trout. That's definitely a trout. Ooh. Oh my god. I feel like that might be the fish that I've lost yesterday. Oh my goodness. You take line if you need to take line. Just don't go in those trees. Don't go in those trees. Nope, 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 not the trees. Not the trees. Yes. Oh my god. Whew. He just saw me. He just saw me. Link. Don't do that. Yes. Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Flies out. Oh. him back now that was awesome absolutely awesome there he goes whoop, whoop. every now and again the effort pays off and you get a nice trout as a reward and it works out fine i don't know it's been a really interesting odd day it feels like i've been here for ages now even though that i've only been here for a couple of hours i broke off my whole french leader rig lost my own tight fly lost the heaviest fly that I had in my box and then yeah I don't know it's weird like I was getting takes on a small tiny olive and then I was getting takes on the caddis obviously they're not that fussy eating so perhaps it's my presentation that's not spot on and I need to have a look at my tippet or my casting and where I'm standing because I am getting drag issues and for some reason when I'm casting this weird hook comes out every single time I make a cast so I need to have a look at that because it's just not on. You know what? I had what four fish? So it hasn't been that bad considering that it is a new water I'm exploring. Thumbs up from me. So I had switched off my GoPros and hidden everything because it's raining like heavily and I was like well I'm not gonna just wait I am gonna fish and I just hooked into a little trout. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, splashy trout that is. Very splashy trout. Jesus Christ, buddy. There we go, buddy. There we go. So that was exciting, but it's still raining a little bit. Not as bad as it was. I'm hoping there's a few more there. That's a fish, that's a fish. Ooh, very gentle take. Ooh. 
so gentle. Okay. Okay. I think it's a grayling. Yeah, bloody hell, nice grayling. Very nice grayling. You need to come here to the shadows. Very, very nice grayling. Come on in. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try and show it to you, but as always, grayling are extremely lively. What a fish is this grayling. Absolute beauty. Let's put him back. Be chappy. So this kind of makes me think if those fish that are rising there in that pool are mainly grayling. I haven't seen anything rising there today uh, but yesterday there were a couple of their rising and so I might go and nymph that whole bit there and hope that finding even a bigger grayling. I'm very pleased with that one. The take was so gentle, so so subtle. Uh, it was very cool, very awesome. Unfortunately I can't have the stick cam because there is no bank space, as you can see from me, it's really, really high and overgrown. So it's just gonna have to be my body GoPro. I'm hoping of a few more fish. I can't feel my hands at this point. It's very, very cold. The temperature has dropped massively. And he texted me to say that he's home as well. So hopefully we get to spend some time together, probably watching my fish. <sighs> that was nice. It was a nice grayling. Time to catch another one. Right, I think... I'm on my last pool of the day. I'm gonna try and chuck a few nymphs in here with some high hopes that I'm gonna catch something. I mean, this water here looks so fishy. It looks so, so good, doesn't it? Looks perfect. Just need to get the flies in the flow. That's a fish. So gentle again. Come on, Grayling. Come on, Grayling. Yes. That wasn't that bad, was it? It's quite quick, that was. A few casts, and I'm in. Fly is out. I hope you can see that. Go on, Gray. That was nice to catch a fish so quickly. Again, so gentle. I literally, oh, it's off. Yeah, my own fault. I literally could, like, I wasn't even sure if that, if that was a take or not. The indicator didn't even, like, move. All I was, all I was, all, all, all I can't even talk now. All I saw was, like, this flash in the water. Makes me wonder how many do I miss? And just not see at all. Oh my god, I wasn't sure if that's foam or if that's sheep. Oh. I'm very glad to confirm that that's just foam. And it's definitely not sheep. No, I think I had the best from here. And a lost fly. Where's my fly? Oh, it's only stuck in the indicator. Okay. This is some lovely water, so beautiful. I wish I had my French leader now. <laughs> oh, if only I wasn't an idiot. If only. Oh, that's a fish. It's a nice grayling again. Yes, mate. Yeah, oh, I'm in the worst possible position to play a fish here right now. It's the current here is so strong. He has all the advantages 
knock me. I have none advantages. Oh, it's a trout. It's actually a trout. Come on here. Come on here, you bugger. Yes. Nice trout. Right, I will try and show it to you. He's very, very lively. I'm just on my phone right now and the camera isn't the best, but a really nice little brownie. And back you go. Whew. You know what? I said that I'll, oh, I'm. Um, I'm really cold, I'm not gonna go grumping around, but now I'm catching fish, I'm having so much fun, I, I forgot that I can't feel my hands or fingers or toes or anything. And I'm just enjoying this lovely water, so I think I'm gonna keep on checking nymphs and hopefully keep on catching a few more fish. And I will check with you guys up in just a little bit. Let's try and catch one more. Don't want more. <laughs> I mean, I don't need more, just a few more fish. I'm not very good at indicator fishing, to be honest. The last time I've done it, was probably January or February, <laughs> February, Feb this year uh, on the Y. So it was nice to just catch a few fish on the indicator rig, fishing two flies. I think I'm all right with a French leader. I can, I can do things with a French leader just because I used it more. But yeah, with an indicator with the dry and dropper, I'm not the most confident person at all. Dry flies where I think I am the best just purely because I've used it so much more than anything else. Um, but I'm very excited about winter. I know, it, as sad as it is, the trout season is going to come to an end. I'm so excited about winter, trying to nail down all nymphing techniques on different rivers, on big rivers, on small rivers, on the rivers where you can't wade, like on the Y. I'm very, very excited because I do think the more methods I can fish efficiently, the better angler I'm going to be all around. So, I am excited about that. I need to take Andy on this water. This is my club that Andy isn't, isn't a member of. Um, but I have a few day tickets that he can use. And I do think he would absolutely love this. It's right up his street. I do think he's going <laughs> to... Yeah, I'm getting excited just by thinking about him fishing here. I do think he would love it. Perhaps a bit more than me because he could be using a French leader right now. I do think in winter fishing for grayling, big heavy, big heavy nymphs, this is gonna be God's gift sent to us. Such a perfect nymph in water. Yes, mate. Yes, grayling. Grayling. Could just see. Oh, we're going downstream. That's what we're doing. We're going downstream. Again, not ideal to play a fish. It's a nice grayling, actually. Woohoo! Another one in the net both flies are out okay that's good we'll collect them and we are gonna put him back to where he needs to be oh, 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 oh. he's gone well i will have a few more casts here but this is basically the end of my limit of where i can fish so maybe one more maybe one more there's always hope isn't there there's always hope but I'm sure I said that before, about two hours ago, maybe one more. Oh dear. Okay, I think I'm gonna walk downstream. It's gonna be time, I will just have a couple of chucks in that really deep pool where I had a few grayling. Um, but apart from that, I think for me, it's kind of time to think about going home, really. Uh, it's the same slag. Oh dear. Well, I needed to walk back anyway, so I might as well 
go back and get my fly. And that's it basically. It was a really good day. If I may say so myself. I caught fish on dries, I caught fish on nymphs, uh, I caught fish on French leader and on the indicator. Like, I can't ask for myself anymore. And I am quite proud because I've only been doing this for a very short amount of time and I came here and I caught fish on three different methods on the river where I only fished like a couple of hours yesterday and caught as well, by the way. So I am very proud of myself, but I think I do need to tie some more flies because I can't rely on stealing from Andy's box because he's out guiding all the time so he has his big box with him and I need some heavier flies so I think that's my plan go home have some coffee have something to eat go sit down and tie some flies for the next time when I can come out guys thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it this is the third time I did a vlog on my own so I do hope you enjoyed it if you're sick of seeing me just let me know that's fine I'm not gonna take offense to it Andy can do vlogs with us both together I'm more hilarious anyway way more hilarious than Andy is let's be honest He's just Andy. I hope you like it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you want to check out any of the rods used, all the links will be in the description box below. If you do want to buy it, you will support our little channel just a tiny bit. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Bye.